Hey, hello everyone. So in the previous video, we were discussing about vectors in HTML C++ and in this video, we are going to talk about iterators. So vector was present in a container component and iterator is like a separate component in HTML. So what's the function of iterator is just to iterate throughout our container. In, in this case, we are using vector. So it's just, just basically like used to display our contents present in our vector. So one of the simplest way of doing this is by using just a for loop, just assigning for int i equal to zero, i less than v dot size, and just putting i plus plus over here and just putting c out v of i and an end l. So this one we will be getting all the elements present in a vector like with the in a new line. So this is one of the common ways. And here we aren't using any iterator or STL component. So what if you wanted to use iterator component of STL? It's really simple, okay? So first thing what you need to do is, so if you are going to include this whole header file, it's well and good. And suppose if you want to just include our iterator, okay? It's going to be as include iterator, okay? Iterator. And here we are having vector also, so I will just include a vector as well, so that it does not give us an error. So it's really simple. This is the header file for iterator. You need to include this, otherwise you will be getting an error. And suppose if you just don't want to give this like individually, you can just go with as include bit slash, which gives entire access to our HTML components. So now how to like define an iterator? It's really simple. You need to just copy your syntax of the container. Just copy it. Just go to the next line and just paste it. Just put two colon, okay? This is not a scope resolution operator. And next you will be typing iterator and it or ptr like this is going to be the name of our iterator and this is the basic syntax this uh, int corresponds to this one it can be string over here if then it should be string over here if it's a vector then it's going to be vector so this is like the basic syntax for our iterator and this can be like any name so how it's going to work is that this is like a address store a storage okay like as i told you earlier we had v dot begin which are like references v dot begin and v dot end v dot begin references to the first zeroth index v dot end refers to the last index so these are basically address references that is same for iterator as well and iterator works on addresses address of our each element and it doesn't work on in indexes like v of i for we had a v of i for loop right before that works on indexes but iterator works on addresses so how we can iterate is say the same thing we will be using for loop over here but we will be like iterating with the help of addresses so it's going to be it equal to v dot v corresponds to this vector v dot begin and just close it and our terminating condition over here will be it not equal to v dot n which is the ending pointer okay and here we'll be just putting i plus plus sorry it plus plus same thing and we'll be seeing a c out asterisk it end up. So let me just explain it clearly. It, this is the initial value. So just consider we are doing for int i equal to zero. We are initializing i value. Same thing, it we are just assigning v dot begin, which is we are giving reference to our first address, zeroth index address. So here's a terminating condition. It shouldn't be like the end, end reference, okay? So that's the end reference. So it will run, loop will run till this one. It's not equal to v dot end. And i plus plus we are just going to the next address, just incrementing our iterator so that we can just pass throughout all the whole vector. And here we are, are we printing c out as the it because it is just address reference. As you know, pointers in C++, uh, if you print asterisk of it, it gives the value present in a, inside that address pointer. Okay. So if you put only it, it will show an error. So if you put asterisk it, then only it will like we can, we'll be able to access the uh, uh, data present inside that particular address. So as you can see, we are just getting the same output over here as well. So this can also be like shortened this way. Like we can just remove this one. Just remove it. And here itself, you can assign it equal to uh, like v dot begin. And if you just run it, so we will be getting the same output over here. And as I told you earlier, if you don't put this asterisk, like you will be getting an error. Okay. See, so it's an error because we can't just, it's just a reference, okay, we can't be printing that. And like there are also other ways like, okay, this is fine, let me just delete it. So, we can just assign it equal to v dot begin, okay, v dot begin. And if you just see out, 
asterisk of it okay so we will be getting one as the output because this is a reference to a zeroth uh, index person in our vector so we'll be getting one as the output which corresponds to this so if i just put over here v dot begin plus two so it will be corresponding to three over here so if we just execute it now so i'll be getting the output as three and similarly you can just put v dot n and put minus over here and just think just do with it so this is what we can do with our uh, iterators in c plus plus like really simple you can just iterate a header file and just do a uh, vector okay like this and that's it like you can even like avoid using iterator like if you think it's a little bit confusing and stuff you can just stick on with for loop as well it's totally up to you and that's it that's it for this video and this is i think the second video in this our playlist i will be also doing many other containers and stl algorithms in this future so do subscribe my channel without me and also i have done many other tutorials in c c plus java python blender the distributed machine unity so thanks for watching